All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of my Terrible Car Makeover series. Today, we are starting with this DeLorean. We're going to make it an off-road DeLorean because where we're going, we don't need roads. I have no idea how well this is going to work, but we're definitely going to try it. I think it'll be good. I think there's some good options for this car. DeLorean's like one of my favorite cars of all time. So let's see first things first. Custom upgrading. We're gonna give it a bigger engine and all wheel drive. I'm thinking a seven liter V8 probably. All wheel drive, wind turbos if it's possible, but it is good. Uh, aero upgrades, I don't think we really need. I don't think it's gonna matter too much. We're gonna add the rear wing just because it looks cool. We're gonna want off-road tires, wherever they are. Mmm, rally tires. Rally tires, not off road tires. Wide tires. Leave the rims how they are because they're iconic and classic. Uh, wider track width. Give it a little bit more stability going over rocks and shit. Not rocks, but off road jumps, whatnot. Race transmission. 7 speed, 8 speed, 7 speed. And then all the upgrades from here. Ooh, is that off road diff? Pretty good. Let's see how far it goes up when we throw the off-road springs. Eh, it's not half bad. That's a lot of a uh, lot of extra space we got there. Roll cage, give it a little bit extra weight, and then take all that weight out. And then power. Let's see what we can do with power. All right. We're spending 113,550 credits and we're giving it over a thousand horsepower. And it's an S2 class. So realistically, all we need to do to get it back down to S1 off-road is just take a little bit of power out of it. But that's not the name of the game. The name of the game is making this thing as fast off-road as possible. And this thing is fast, holy cow. Let's see what the accolade is real fast. We got a free Ford GT. Guys, going up in the auction house because I already have one. So, what we're going to do, we're going to find an off-road, a dirt, uh, dirt racing off-road event that is a decent uh, circuit and that's mostly off-road. We want an off-road circuit. This one is entirely off-road, and it's at the top of the volcano, which is where I like to go. So that's what we're going to do. This is going to be our go-to, from now on, off-road vehicle testing area. For races, at least. Unless I find another one, of course. We're going to sc say, screw it, all these recommended cars, and we're going to go with the DeLorean we just built. Because that's the whole point. Well, it looks like other people have had the same idea. There's an off-road Miata, off-road NSX. I don't know if these are actually off-road cars, but mine for sure is. Now, keep in mind, we did not tune this car. And I figured that the transmission was going to be a little undergeared, but that is fine for an off-road race. That's kind of how you want it. There's another off-road DeLorean, and it's Don Juan songs. I really hope that's real and that it didn't just give from that car. He has the front splitter, though. I do not. He almost popped out in the gears coming down that straight back there. Ooh, this thing, we're definitely going to tune it, make it a little better. Thousand horsepower DeLorean, 1200 horsepower DeLorean, off-road DeLorean. Good car so far.
turns pretty well. Tune's not half bad on it as is, but it definitely could use a little bit of help. This thing slides a lot more than I was expecting, and I don't know if it's because the ground is wet or or what. And there we go, first place with the AI a decent bit behind us, the driving car. So, now we're gonna do a trailblazer. We're gonna move on to a trailblazer and see how the trailblazer goes. Wheel spin, M5, 2003, very nice. Right. Let's find a trailblazer. We're gonna do this one right here. After having looked at some of the others, that one's at the bottom. We're gonna try that one. Let's drive over there and try that one. We're actually gonna cut right through the water. Rip. Let's remove that dot because I'm OCD about that type of shit sometimes. Especially on like Call of Duty when you have new attachments and shit, that annoys me. Let's snag this trailblazer and go all the way. Oh, shit. Oh, I see. We have 60 seconds to complete it. So we need to get down to the bottom in 30 seconds. We're topped out at 178 free. Wow. Ooh, two stars so only. Like Dang. That's amazing. All right. Well, let's tune this thing. And then we'll see what we can get to with it. I think I'm going to drop them all down to 25. Because we're going to do some stuff with the alignment. We're going to up the gear ratio just a bit. Because I would like to not have to shift through the first gears so hard. And so fast. Uh, the camber in the front is fine where it is. The front angle caster is fine where it is. Anti-roll bars, the front definitely needs to be more soft than it is. And then we can soften up the rear just a bit as well. Springs definitely need to be softer. Front always you want softer than back because it helps the front grab harder. The right height will keep there. Damping, same thing. Soft and then stiffer on the rear for pretty much any type of car. Arrow is fine, really. Brake is fine. Differential. Uh, not fine. This guy we want around 80, and this one we want around 30. Well, actually, no. I guess you want these higher for off-road racing. I'm silly. We'll leave them both at 80. You don't want them at 100%, though. You would like a little bit of leeway. 80, 80. And that's right at 50. That's where we want it. So, let's tune it, or let's make the tune done. Let's go and do that race again. All right. We're back here. We're hoping that the mix of transmission and uh, softening to the suspension will make a big difference for our grip going around corners. The transmission obviously isn't going to do too much, but the softening of the suspension should increase the grip and the transmission should make it so I don't have to shift every five seconds. That's actually an understatement. It's, it's like every second. Yeah, 
definitely better on the shifting right at the beginning. Oh, and it's definitely more grippy through the corners. Definitely. Holy cow. It may not look noticeable to you, but I can feel it. The amount of throttle I can put on going through corners and things, it definitely makes it. Shot too fast. Let's go. Yeah, this is the handling is definitely better. The changes we did make that make it more geared towards understeer than oversteer. No, sorry. Backwards, oversteer than understeer. Back end slides out the front end digs. That's what we want. That's what you want in most cars. Ideally, you would have none of either, but that's not always possible, so if it's gonna happen, you want oversteer. And we fix the transmission so we can go faster. We increase the final drive size. That was a good, good corner. This thing is very capable off-road, which is surprising, but also in this game, not, not really. I'm hoping it does better on that Trailblazer too, because we want three stars out of that. Pretty much just drifted that entire corner even clicking the e-brake e e clicking the a button and e-brake to try and get it to stay sideways i quite like this car for an off-road car and taking a little bit of power out of it to get it to be s1 class would make it competitive i think that's quite impressive that is a quite impressive car off-road with not not exactly what i was expecting but it's not bad I was expecting it, honestly, to be worse than that. Now we're headed over to this Trailblazer over here. To see what this thing can do going down the mountain. It was having a hard time scaring before. I don't know if that's because it was wet or what was going on there. Damn, it's a rock crawler too. He not hit the rocks. Definitely has more control over steering. Yeah, it's more controllable still. Not hit any trees. Wow, that was a noticeable difference of Brilliant. almost 10 Next seconds. Time I'm late for a meeting on the other side of the festival. I'm calling you. Jeez. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it today for us. Let's get a good picture of this thing sliding sideways in the dirt. Ooh, where'd it go? That's going to do it for us today, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys enjoyed the videos so far, give it a like, give it a comment, share it, whatever you want to do. If not, that's fine too. Thank you all for watching this far, and uh, I will see you guys on the next video. Have a great rest of your day.